Accessing the full text of an article. When you're searching in a database or discovery layer and you see an article that looks relevant, you will want to view the full article, also known as the full text. However, when you first click the link, instead of the full text of the article, you'll see a page called the record. The record contains information about the article, such as the title, the author's name, the journal title, and the abstract. In this video, we'll show you how to access the full text from various search interfaces. First, let's look at CINAHL. First, I open the record by clicking on the title of the article in my search results. Now it's fairly straightforward to open the full text. Just click the full text link, which is typically found in the upper left corner of the record. As you can see, clicking that link brought me to the full text. PubMed only contains records, so to access the full text, you'll need to go from PubMed to a page containing the article. To access the full text through PubMed, click on the full text links in PubMed, which are typically in the upper right corner of the record. These links will not take you straight to the full text, they'll take you to another page. Sometimes this might be PubMed Central, which is a section of PubMed that contains open access articles. Now look for another full text link and click to open the full text. Next, let's look at Google Scholar. This is a search engine rather than a library database, so it's a little different. By default, Google Scholar shows links to the full text that it's able to find from public websites. You'll find these to the right of the search results. To access the full text, click on the link here if there is one. Now, what about articles that are not available on public websites? Well, Google Scholar may be able to provide full text links for articles your library subscribes to if it knows you're a student, such as if you're on campus in some cases. However, for the most part, because Google Scholar is not a library database, it doesn't automatically link to the full text of the articles you might have access to. You can set it up to include links to those articles. So to set up library links in Google Scholar, Click the hamburger menu in the top left, click settings, click library links from the menu on the left, type in the name of your school and press enter. Check the box next to your school's name and click save. After completing these steps, you'll see your library's full text links for articles your library subscribes to. You can open these articles by clicking on the link on the right of the title, the same way you did for the other articles. You may be prompted to log in with your library credentials. One thing to note about Google Scholar is that you can only set up the ability to access library links if your library enabled it. If your institution didn't come up in the list, you might have to copy the titles of any articles that interest you and search for them in your library databases and or discovery layer. So there you go, you now know how to access full text in some of the most common search interfaces. If you're searching in a different database, the location of the full text links will be in similar places to what we saw in the databases in this video. Thanks for watching.